Staying in Queensland, another mighty mining state, <sighs> Queensland Premier Stephen Miles has decided the whole truth-telling treaty thing, it's not tracking so well. I've got an election coming up and I want to be as popular as humanly possible. So let's put it all on hold. Is it any wonder that he's doing this after South Australia's vote last weekend absolutely bombed? They had less than 10% of the people who were eligible to vote in their, hey, vote for the voice here in South Australia. Less than 2,500 people showed up to the ballot box to elect 46 people. Some of those elected had just six votes. And remember, that voice is costing South Australians $10.3 million over the next three years. So, of course, I'm sure rumours are getting back to the Premier in Queensland that also the Yarook Justice Commission in Victoria is making a lot of waves. Just yesterday, you surely would have read across several headlines in every mainstream media outlet they were bashing the Victorian government, something chronic. Why? Because the government had refused to immediately lift the age of criminal responsibility to 14 years old. Because the Uruk Justice Commission said to, and the government said no, and now they're in really big trouble. I'm sure the Premier is watching all of this mm. and saying, you know what, I've got a big enough fight on my hands getting re-elected later mm. this year. I'm just going to put that on the back burner. And also, he knows that if he gets started on this now, it's going to create an even bigger point of difference between himself yep. and Crucifoli, who has said, mm, I'm not sure that we're going to go down that road. The, the other thing about the Justice Commission in Victoria that would scare the life out of everyone in Queensland was so many of those recommendations are for different rules applying to Indigenous people oh, yeah. than to everybody else. And you can imagine in Queensland, which is you know, a huge state, vast regional areas, many of them with major crime problems, mm. um, that uh, a suggestion that there should be a rule for one and a different rule for others is not going to fly with the electorate. So I think Stephen Miles has decided, why don't we focus on issues that are relevant to both black and white people, like cost of living and uh, those kind of things. Not that I think he's going to do much about cost of living, no. but better to focus on issues that uh, are relevant to the entire electorate rather than to start dividing people up. Cost of Olympics, I think, is the number one cost <laughs> we'll of the issue on, uh, on his mind. But it, it's the way he's doing it is so underhanded, right? Because they were meant to have set all this up by the end of last year. Yes. And it's just sort of gone quite, you know, oh, well, we had a change of Premier, we had a change of Cabinet. You know, it's been a lot going on up here in... We just couldn't possibly get around to setting up our Truth and Treaty Commission. It's pretty obvious what he's doing. He just won't admit what he's doing. If you're not interested in it or you think, you know, there's a legitimate reason it needs to be delayed, just come out and tell us, Mr Miles. But, of course, you won't because we know what you're doing. Speaking of knowing what you're doing or the lack of not knowing what you're doing, more to the point, another thing that uh, Mr Miles is so keen on doing, and, of course, he's not putting this one on the back burner, he's actually going to do it, apparently, is a pumped hydro scheme up in Queensland. Now, we know how well Snowy Hydro 2.0 has gone. It just keeps blowing out by billions and billions and billions of dollars. Clearly, Mr Miles has taken a look at that and gone, heck yeah, we should do that up in Queensland. It's not <laughs> like we... You know, we just got money to blow up oh here in Queensland, dear. don't we? Now, he won't say, and the Queensland government can't say exactly how much money this project might cost. Despite that, he is lending his support to it anyway. The estimates are somewhere around $18 billion. Now, we were quibbling, or he was quibbling, just a couple of weeks ago mm -hmm. about whether or not you could build a brand-new stadium for the Olympics in Brisbane yep. for the, the sum of about $4 billion. And, oh, we, we couldn't possibly oh, do I'm that. Us money. We're going to use QSAC out in the boondocks that no-one will possibly be able to get to. It takes two hours to get there by public transport if you want to go and see any of the athletics. So we'll do up Suncorp a little bit. Maybe we'll tart up the Gabba a little bit. We haven't got the money for a new stadium, but 18 billion for a dodgy pump Which hydro is scheme. More than snowy hydro. I know. I and mean, initially two billion has now blown out to 12 billion. Nobody believes that 12 billion is the end of this story either. And he's just going straight for the jugular, being like 18. 
18. Well, if that's your starting point, God help well, Queensland. That, that's the frightening thing. That wasn't the starting point. When Palaget announced this in 2022, which is just two years ago, mm. it was $12 billion. So it's already blown out Here by $6 billion in two years. And he can't say for sure whether $18 billion is the final well, price. Can't. And it bearing in can't. mind work has not even begun yet and the way inflation is, the cost of building materials, there's no way it's going to come in at $18 billion. It'll be more than that. <laughs> but what sort of executive, what sort of CEO, can you imagine running a corporation and you're going to embark on a massive project mm. and uh, you sit before your board and they say, well, what's this going to cost us? And you say... I don't know. No. <laughs> but we're going to do it. Oh, yeah. We're just going to do it. Bring it on. The passion. Bring it on. To save the planet. We, we need, need it. more green energy. We need it and we need it now.